Everybody wanted to win a lottery. Everybody wants to be a millionaire. Everybody wants to be rich. Everybody wish they had a lot of money and everybody wants to be smarter than you. That's what I believe. I believe that so many people all of a sudden are experts in stuff they never knew about yesterday. Yesterday, you didn't understand what a stock was. You didn't understand security. You didn't know what a mutual fund was. You didn't believe in Bitcoin. You never heard of any other cryptocurrency or altcoin. Uh, you never even knew what a mutual fund was. You never heard of ETF. You don't know what calls or you, you don't know what an option is. You don't know what put means. You don't understand that. You don't even know what a margin balance is. However, everybody wants to go and tell you, you need to invest in AMC. <laughs> you need to go ahead and buy GameStop. They want to tell you these things. But let me tell you this. You can lose all your money trying to put stuff in stuff you know nothing about. You know, hey, I'm a surgeon. Give me some money. Let me operate on you. You lose your life and your money. So before you make a, a choice to gamble, you know, gamble on a game you don't understand, study it, learn a little bit, understand. It would be better for you if you really want to make money to invest in stuff that you use and stuff you believe in. Like for all you millions of people on earth who own iPhones, I don't understand why you don't own Apple stock. If you go back and read the charts, you can see that over a period of 10 years, their money has more than doubled. You would make money. However, most people don't want it that way. You want to do it tomorrow. You want to just, ooh, I see I got a AMC for $2. So I put $1,000 in and next thing you know, in two weeks, it was $16. You know, <laughs> I've made $8,000 something. dollars. That's what you want. But most people cannot predict the stock market. That's why people trade every day. You know, they hope, they hope, but people lose. People lose their fortunes. If you go back and study history, you got people that were billionaires one day and were totally broke tomorrow and they didn't predict it. Who predicted that Blockbuster was going to go out of business? And the person who was smart enough to predict it got rich. And who believed in Netflix when it was $5 a share and now it's $500 a share? You didn't know that. You wasn't sure. I remember when I first got my first iPod. I couldn't get anyone to buy it. Nobody believed it. And I didn't even understand investing at that time because if I did, I would have been rich. But... Sooner or later, everybody follows. So the point I'm making is everybody follows, but nobody really wants to be the first person. Be the first person. Learn about something that nobody else knows about and invest in that and gamble on that. Or be the other person who follows suits and just do the smart move. You know, you know that Google is going to be here tomorrow. You know that tomorrow you're going to still brush your teeth and still wash your clothes. So you can always invest in Procter and Gamble. You can do that. You are Johnson and Johnson because of stuff you use every day. You know that you got to eat. You know, me, I shop at Whole Foods and I ship a lot of stuff. Um, I get shipped, stuff shipped to me through Amazon. So I buy Amazon stock. That's what you should do. If you own a pair of Air Jordans, why don't you uh, get some Nike stock? Everybody doesn't want to look at stock every day and try to understand the business. You don't want to know who the CEO is. You don't want to know the, the profit and loss of a company. You don't want to know the PE ratio. You don't really care about those things. It means nothing to you. I get that. So invest in either an ETF, a mutual fund uh, from ARK Invest, Vanguard, all these places and let them manage your money for you. But me, I want to be in control of my own stuff. You know, I know that I might want a PS5, so I'm going to invest in Sony. I know that I may want an Xbox, so I'm going to buy some microfile stock. I know that I'm going to play Zelda, so I got to own some Nintendo. It's simple. You know, a lot of people say don't diversify, but hey, diversification keeps you safe. So if one stock falls unexpectedly, this other one may rise unexpectedly and you're balanced. You know, you invest in several sectors. You don't invest in just one sector. Yeah, You know, maybe you want to own a house, but you don't know how to do it. But I can invest in a REIT. and let the, Now I own property because I'm invested in the REIT. Simple stuff. Most people really don't understand that. I don't know how to make it make sense to people. I am not a financial advisor. I am not a fiduciary. I am not some stock guru. Man, I'm, I'm always trying to learn every day. But what I do love to think about is how can I get my money to work for me? You know, I don't care what people say, fantasy or reality. All money is created. It's, it's money has only the value that governments or people say it has. That's the same as any other uh, currency that you to have for any country. They make it up and that's why you have inflation and deflation because it, it's it's subjective to the value of something else. When you have fiat currency, uh, the company, the country can say the money's worth this much or they can say it's worth this much. Now we can say gold is worth this much, but we still agree about it. But you can't eat gold. You know what I mean? So 
Just like you can't eat. Uh, some people will say Bitcoin ain't real, but if people agree that it's real, it's real. If we agree some papers saying it, and God we trust is real in America. So, or USA, because some people get offended when you use a certain term because we got North America, Central America, South America. We're all Americans. But, you know, us being kind of biased, we want to say the United States is all the America that there is. <laughs> I'm joking. But what you have to understand is stuff only has value that you give value. Uh, a house could be worth $10,000, right? But if 20 people want this house, I can inf inflate the price because if you're going to pay 10000 they're going to pay 10001 They're going to pay 10002 until it gets to a point where it's overinflated. And that happens with securities. That happens with everything. When you, it's hard to get bread, the price of bread goes up. When it's easy to get bread, the price of bread goes down. And this is how people got to think. People got to think. A, a lot of people want to be business people, but you have nothing to sell. You have nothing you're passionate about. You have no way to help the world. You have nothing that you can add, but there's other people that you may know that can add some entertainment, some value. They can make other people smile. They can uh, make somebody else's life easier. And if you can't run your own business, invest in their business. Like for instance, I am not a writer. Well, I am a writer, but I'm not a, a creative type writer, but I'm really good at editing. I'm really good at um, reading stories and making things make sense. So I can have somebody that I know in my life that is extremely creative and they're great at telling stories, but they can't quote unquote, right as well as I can, so I can help them. See, that's a business that you can create, but most people don't think about that. Some people are not entertaining, but you're a great editor. You can go connect with somebody that can edit, and next thing you know, you guys are having a, a business because you can't do it alone. No one does it alone. You can't be rich unless other people want to buy your product or somebody else is making money that you invested in. You need somebody else for you to be rich. You got to have something that somebody else wants so you can get money. That's how people got to think, but they don't think like that. And that's what's so funny. A lot of people want to be in your position, so they will do things to take you down to take your position. Me, I'm not about that. I'm about helping other people get to where they need to go. I am not an expert at anything. I am an expert at being funny, though, and laughing and being sexy for the ladies. <laughs> I'm going to take my shirt off for you. <laughs> I'm joking, but that's what you got to you got to think about. What are you good at? What benefit can you bring to other people and how can you help other people in their lives? Me, I want to make people smile and laugh. And, you know, I want to I, I think I'm extremely confident, but I want to be uh, not so confident that I can't be humble or be humble or be appreciative or be um, be honored by the presence of other people like Sometimes, you know, I could be in a situation where I need quiet and then I have friends and family to say, hey, come to my spot. You can do it because I'm quiet here. And they know how I feel about things because sometimes people work in the streets, dogs are bark. And I don't want to hear all that. You know, sometimes I'm lazy and I don't want to cook and my friend will be like, I'll cook for you. So you have people in your life that are beneficial. So when you have people in your life that are beneficial, you need to be able to be beneficial to those people, too. So that's how I think about it. I don't want to off on a tangent, but it's it's all going to be coherent. It's all going to make sense. It's all going to congeal and be congruent at the end. So just be able with me people this is what i believe i believe that um investment is the best way for you to get rich i believe that if that's what you want to be i believe that you should try to learn as much as you can for free and don't uh, pay people out outrageous prices for something that should cost you ten dollars in a book and you could probably buy an audio book and listen to it and learn too many people try to take your money too many people try to say they're going to help you, but they're not really going to help you. They're trying to survive just like you're trying to survive, just like I'm trying to survive. So I will never say I don't want to see people not getting money. I want to see people getting money. I want to get money. However, I don't believe in overpaying. But what I do believe is if I support your endeavor, if I support your practice, I will donate to you or I will give you a caveat to it. What I don't like is when people talk negatively to people, but I do believe that there are some people that are so delusional that you may need a little negative, positive reinforcement to change your erratic irrational views maybe i need some of that too but that's what you got to think about you really have to think um am i bringing service to people do i really know what i'm talking about and if you want to make money you got to think do i have the discipline the fortitude uh, the dedication to and the patience to see that i invest in apple and i'm happy seeing my apple share of stock go from a hundred dollars to maybe 120 in a year. I'm telling you, that's more return than you'll get in the bank. And nine times out of 10, that's how Apple's going to accrue for you. It's how it's going to grow. Because everybody I know wants to buy an iPhone. And a lot of people are waiting for that new iMac Pro. They're waiting for that new Apple tablet with the M1 chip. They're waiting for that. So that's how you got to read it. That's what you got to think about. That's what you got to be focused on. And that's the advice I can give you. You don't hear me at all telling you uh, to put your money into AMC because I don't, I like movies. I got a big screen behind me. I like to watch movies. I like to play video games. I like to eat. But I'm not telling you that you need to 
get rich quick. I'm never going to tell you this stock is a home run. I believe the future is uh, for me. This is how I think it's going to be self-driving cars. It's going to be automation, of course. It's going to be biotechnology. and It's going to be some type of um, life changing thing that makes everybody live longer, make it easier and more efficient. That's where the future is going. So. 5G is, is, the, is the next future. So you should invest in 5G. What's the next frontier? It's outer space or deep in the sea. So anything that's going to be about space exploration or different habitats is where the money is going to be. Uh, Virgin Galactic, you guys should look it up. I, I'm sharing some stock with you. Virgin Galactic uh, went on a trajectory. So I remember I bought it. I think it was maybe $18 a share. And I want to say it's at maybe 40 or 50 dollars a year i have to look it up i'm not looking it up at this time but i'm just giving you guys um view so don't feel that you missed out on investing in amc or gamestop or you try to hop the dogecoin the kia wave or you you're now going to go to wall street bets reddit and read and see try to predict it that's how you lose your money i'm not saying that people shouldn't gamble There's a lot of people that gamble There's a lot of people that want to be day traders and you want to uh uh Use options and put calls and puts on what you think a stock going to be. You By all means, you do that. I would not recommend it. I say that uh, even though a lot of people are mad at Robinhood right now, but you still got Cash App. You got other places that let you get incremental shares. And if you can't buy a whole share of Amazon, put a couple of dollars on it. It would be better than sitting in the bank. And, uh, you know, the laws are going to change. Study up on the laws. Study up on your tax code. I always say try to be a long-term investor. And so you have to pay less capital gains tax. But now that we got a, a new president, President Biden, <laughs> he may change the tax code. So just be aware of what's going to happen in the future. And I ran my mouth long enough. It's easy for me, but I'm going to stop. All right. Thank you very much. And to uh, my patron, <laughs> my patron, <laughs> the person that let me uh, come and speak. Thank you. And I'm done.